Hey, what's up guys? Mario here. So this is gonna be part three of the CNC build. Uh, on the previous video, I actually show how I did part of the uh, Y-axis table. I also mounted the C-axis to the uh, X-axis and filled all the aluminum extrusions with epoxy granite. Uh, the reason I did it is to gain uh, weight on the overall CNC. I actually managed to gain around 45 pounds just by filling these big pieces. Uh, it also makes uh, the whole extrusion sound more solid than hollow. And uh, that can actually prevent uh, maybe some vibrations, uh, maybe stop some of the harmonic noises that you might get. Uh, and probably you can say that it adds uh, a little bit of stiffness to the CNC. Uh, I got all these, uh, these smaller pieces, I got them from uh, 8020 ink, same with all the brackets and screws. Uh, and the big pieces, I managed to pick them up from from a guy on eBay that he's probably about an hour away from me. Um, he was selling them a little cheaper than uh, 8020, so I managed to save a little money there. Uh, but I did have to cut them myself. So that was one of the upsides. Let's say if you if you don't have the machines to cut all this. Aluminum, they may be better off getting them from 8020 since they can cut it at any size that you want. So I'm gonna start building the frame today uh, because everything is starting to become quite heavy and I'm not able to move everything once it's everything is together. I think I'm gonna start with the x-axis to support the, I guess you can say the gantry and uh, probably finish off with the with the bottom to support the uh, y-axis table and hopefully turn all this into a three-axis CNC.
Okay guys, so here's the CNC. I'm almost done with the uh, whole frame. Uh, I just need to do a little more tweaking, but he actually later on I'm gonna have to take it all apart since this is not gonna be the place where it's gonna stay. Uh, the support table right now is is not good, so. Um, <clears throat> but it's just gonna be for testing. Um, I actually got these plates over here that were supposed to go on the side but uh, the T-nuts that I, I ordered they work for maybe if I can put it right here but when I try to put the other T-nuts through here it's really difficult to line up all these screws with the T-nuts so what I'm gonna end up doing is getting some different ones ones that have like a little spring and can actually go from the side instead of the end to make it a little easier for me to mount the plates uh, one thing I actually noticed too is I'm gonna end up have to end up removing these um, 45 corner brackets because when I move the, C, uh, the, the X axis the C axis will actually interfere with bracket so that's not a big problem once I add these brackets over here to the size uh, I can probably use these uh, corner brackets behind the x-axis uh, let's see oh, right here I got some uh, spring I guess and it was it's used for luggage and it actually tells you maybe an estimate how much it weighs but I would like to put, really put this over here and then uh, try to lift it because it's really heavy and just without it it's really hard for me to lift it but uh, so yeah it's really heavy so what I would like to do is probably uh, try to put over here in one of the sides uh, some type of uh, air spring or gas spring to help it so the uh, stepper motor don't have to do so much work at the same time at the same time probably help keep the axis in place so when I shut the machine off the C axis just doesn't come down and slams on the table let's say let's see probably on the next video I'm gonna be trying to connect these uh, uh, steppers on probably all three axes and see how it actually moves and how it actually works um, same thing with uh, the controllers I got a few I'm just not quite sure where I'm actually gonna end up using uh, this is just temporary uh, uh, hopefully once I test the machine depending on uh, how it actually performs let's say uh, I can get some closed loop steppers or maybe even some uh, clear path servos or maybe even switch the servos from my other machine to this one and buy some closed loop steppers for the other one so I'm not quite sure there yet one I'm actually going to end up using uh, same thing with the spindle this one is actually just for testing, this one actually it's burned but I got another one exactly the same uh, most likely I'm gonna use, use it for at the beginning and maybe in the future I would like to probably get some type of uh, automatic uh, tool changer spindle uh, to make uh, uh, tool changing a lot faster so it's actually been a long day for me working on the frame today I'm gonna call it a day I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time